Hi, and welcome to 3DMotive.com. My name is Stephen G. Wells. I'm a senior 3D artist. In this tips and tricks tutorial, we're going to take a look at using the draw tool in Topagun. This is Topagun. This is the default mesh that they can give you. I'm rotating this model by basically uh, Alt left mouse, which is the same as in Maya. I can middle mouse Alt for panning, and I can right Alt to zoom in and zoom out, just like Maya. Okay. So this is the default mesh. It's some orc head or something. So we're going to go ahead and use this as a basis. I've showed you before how to quickly create polygons with the simple create tool to be able to create our vertices. You know, very simple. And then how we can turn around and use the bridge tool to bridge all that. So we can create, oops, there we go. Let's do that and this. So we can create our polygons very simply, very easily. One of the tools that I don't tend to use it a lot because I find it's a little more work heavy uh, than not, is the draw tool. If you click on your little draw tool, it's the little pencil icon. It's literally kind of basically what it says it is. I can literally draw my line on the model itself. This is where I'm creating my edge loops. So that's one edge loop. This will be another edge loop. We'll just go ahead and do it this way. And another one. And I'm just left clicking and dragging. I mean literally drawing on the screen like it's real paper. Okay. But the one thing about this is you want to really make sure you zoom in then because you want to make sure that as much of your next set of lines will intersect these lines as you need to. Any lines that don't connect won't seal. So in other words, I'm going to just click and I'm going to just drag this like that. I'm going to grab another one like this. And again, you might want to make sure you're following some sort of you know, edge loop with it that, that might work for what you're going to deal with, maybe some animation purposes, etc. I'm going to go ahead and just draw another line here. And I'm just going to draw a line here. Now, a couple things. I actually made sure not to touch this one line. I'm actually outside of it. But I'll show you what you do with this. So there's the draw tool. We've drawn what we assume will basically be where our polygons are going to be. So now we can just easily just jump to evaluate. Just click, hit that button. And there you go there's our polygons. Now you can see where things didn't seal correctly and obviously none of the edges created any polygons because they had nothing intersecting with them. I'm going to now clear all. That clears all my draw lines. I don't need them anymore. It actually I was close enough back here that it actually did go ahead and make the connection which was nice. But you can see we've got like a couple of extra polygons right in here which don't really help us. So I'm going to grab the simple edit tool to weld vertices, it's very simple in Topogun. Just hold your control key down, click and drag. When that's red, you can let go. Now, as you can see, it sealed the polygons perfectly. All right. So the draw tool is handy. It's not one I really use a lot because you know I can go from my my simple create and do this much quicker. But I know there are people, students especially, love to do the something as simple as just you know drawing lines okay so here we are drawing some more lines of course the whole thing is you need to keep in mind as you're drawing these lines how edge loops work the edge flows that you're going to want to be able to create like something around the mouth you're going to want curves around the mouth for instance so I'm just going to add these in here I'm going to go ahead and connect that one. I want to see how bad that actually comes out. That'll be interesting. I'm going to try and connect that one up right there. All right, uh, let's go ahead and just create one inner one right here. And right here. I'll see how that goes too. I, I think that's going to mess up actually, but we will find out. Let's go ahead and just add in our lines. Okay, so there we go. I was off on the line there. Let's go 
go ahead and scroll this down. I'm just going to drag here. Wow. And let's go ahead and do a quick evaluate. So it's now evaluating our mesh. Um, Oh, and it looks like it might might freeze. Oh, it did not. Thank goodness. I thought it was going to crash for a second. All right, didn't too, didn't do too bad. Let's go ahead and do a clear all. It didn't do badly. We need to fix a few things. Obviously, we can't have five sided polygons. That just does not work. So I'm just holding my control key down. I can actually just grab that one versus and delete it. So I can grab this one. Control, snap it. We're good there. This it did not work at all. I'm going to hold my control key and snap it. I can now move this to cut a new edge in. Let's go ahead and go to our simple create. I'm going to hold my control key down on one and then hold my shift key down on this one edge. That does a nice little cut. All right, so that's not bad. Didn't do a, as bad a job as I thought. It actually created a line straight through but didn't intersect these two lines here, so that kind of doesn't help us at all. So what we'll have to do is grab this edge, delete it, and this edge, we'll just keep it for now. What we'll do is do a simple edit. I'm going to hold my Control key there, my Shift key onto that edge, and Control T to snap. Go back to simple edit, and I can delete that one edge. Right, that, wasn't, that wasn't bad. It wasn't bad. I can now grab these vertices here, hold my Shift down, grab these vertices there. Let's assume we we're trying to get a zero symmetry. Let's go ahead and Add in those vertices, and well, technically, this there's no way that would actually do that. But I'm going to do it this way and hit if you hit this button right here, zero symmetry, that creates our symmetry for us. So, if we were working on half of the model, all we'd have to do is create half the model and then hit the zero symmetry, and then we can flip everything once we're done. But that's basically the draw tool. It, it can be handy, I find it's a little more work intensive than if I were just going to you know, draw it in myself or uh, do the simple edit myself. I find that usually works a little bit better. But, um, you know, let's do a quick evaluate. And I'm going to clear all. And see, because I didn't, I didn't seal those edges, it didn't know what to do with it. I'm going to hold my control key down to snap that vert to that vert. I'm going to get to our bridge tool. Let's just go ahead and bridge these really quickly. Or bridge that, 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 and that. Alright, so very quickly you can see, you know, you can do a not bad job. This is completely bad, that's fine. Let's go ahead and get to our brush tool. Now our brush tool, you can do several different things with it. You can move it, you can inflate it, you can relax it. For the move tool, all you have to do is just click on this and you basically are going to just click and move. You, you kind of brushing it over a little bit okay now you can have the the size affected the strength you can adjust your brush size I mean you, you, I, I, you just left click and drag that that affects your brush size you can affect, affect the fall off so how big an area see so I now have a much bigger area and I can now move this stuff over a whole lot easier for instance if I wanted to I could go for an inflate. Now if I, let me scale this brush size down a little bit and the fall off down. By inflate, what happens is, is I'm clicking on these vertices, for instance, and it doesn't look like it's really doing a whole lot, but what it actually is, is it's actually lifting it off of our mesh, off of our surface. And of course, you know, this is, the Topogun is a retopologizer, so it wants to read the surface, but you can actually inflate your model away from your surface by using the inflate uh, brush. Or of course you can grab the relax and you can just, I'm just do a soft little click here and there. We can relax some of these edges a little bit as you can see. Just that, let's do a little relaxing here. See very quickly, very simply you can start to do this. Oh, that's some nice relaxing in there. So you can relax your model as you're working on it. You know, if, if you've got some geometry that you think is a little tight, you can just do a little relaxing with it and it rounds it out a little bit more and averages between the vertices. So you can get some really good looks depending on how you want to do it. Anyway, that has been a very, very quick introduction into the pen and brush tools in Topogun. 
My name is Stephen G. Wells, and this has been 3dmotive.com. Thanks for watching. Enjoy your day.